Good morning. Very good morning. Can you have a ratio? Yeah, sure. Mohammed Sami. Yes. So tell me about yourself. Thank you for giving me a chance for introducing myself to you. Now, my name is Mohammad Sadiq. I am from Karimnagar. I am currently living in Hyderabad near Sikandarabad. And, yeah, I did my graduation with BCom in SR College at Karimnagar. Uh, coming to my technical skills, I have good coding skills and I have trained, I have learned manual testing and automation with, along with Code Java. I also have knowledge in computer hardware and networking. Uh, coming to my strengths, I am very punctual. I am a self-confident, hard-working person. I am quick learner and self-motivated and always passionate about learning new things. And also I have good communication skills. And my, coming to my weakness, I overthink about my career. And I also, I also speak a little bit fast. And my role model is Bill Gates because he developed many programs for his graduation and my goals are my short term goal is to become a professional software tester and my long term goal is to achieve a unique position in IT industry. Yeah. That's all we got. Thanks again for this. Good. So you have good knowledge in code Java, right? Yeah I see. What is Java? Yeah. Java is a pure object oriented language and it's developed user to develop distributed applications. And it's uh, have many features like uh, simple and platform integrated and it's the most secure, secure language. That's all. Okay. What is string? A string is a predefined class in Java. And is a string means a group of characters. And there are two ways to create a string. Uh, first one is string literal. A string literal is uh, created by using double quotes. Another way is uh, string created by using new keyword. So what is uh, inheritance? Inheritance means uh, obtaining data members and methods from one class to another class. Okay. There are five techniques in string. Um, first one is sim uh, single inheritance and multi-level inheritance and uh, hierarchical inheritance, multiple inheritance and last one hybrid inheritance. Um, mainly in single inheritance uh, it will consist one base class and one period class uh, in multi-level inheritance they also consist of one base class and one period class and also in, in number of intermediate classes and hierarchical inheritance means they, they consist of one many ba many base classes and uh, one period class and multiple inheritance means they are multiple it consists of multiple base classes and single period class and hybrid hybrid inheritance means it is a combination of any available inheritance. If one combination is multiple inheritance then other combinations are entire for not considered by Java. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is an array? Array is a predefined class in Java. Uh, it is a array is homo it uh, consists of homogeneous elements and it store multiple Elements of same type. Mm -hmm. yeah. So write a program to find smallest neighboring given array. Okay. Yeah. Now I am writing to find the smallest number in array, in given array. The first we are taking class. Yeah, in class, the class name should be first letter is capital. After we include main method, and now I am declared and initialized the array.
explain the lines. Yeah. yeah, for repeated process, we have to take for loop. So I'm writing for loop. So the for loop will validate the first position, validate the first position of uh, with first position and all the position is will validate the yeah, it is smaller or larger. Okay. So we also put in a condition if condition we also we should use if condition to find smallest number. So here it will validate the smallest number. So minimum means the first position of this. So array consider this uh, first position. This is the positions of array. So i varies. Uh, this was a condition. Uh, I increase the update operation of i. It will increase the one to like this. Uh, so here if condition will validate the, the minimum uh, validating this position for these all positions. So again, if uh, in if condition, if uh, this condition will true, then again we will write. After validating the this uh, smallest number, then the array of we will store in this minimum, and we use to print the minimum value. We are using system dot println to print the value. Oh, Next one, write a program string swapping. I am writing string swapping man. Yes. Yeah, first we are taking class. Here I stored a string value in a variable a. I stored a stored data in a. And again, I am taking other string. Yeah, I take the two two strings. The first one I take a variable a. And I stored the, this data into a variable, and again I stored the, this data. And okay. now swapping means uh, we have to uh, swap data to store in this place, and the stored data we have to store in B position. So here we should take an empty string to swap this. So this is an empty string. 
so now i am storing this data into a md string to swap so c so is equal to a so now this data is wrapped into c position So here the data, the of data is stored into C position. Okay. Yeah, and that, uh, that this data is stored into B position. Now I'm going to write this. The the data of A is uh, stored in C position now. So now A is empty. So we will store the B data into A position in A variable now. So now the B B of data is stored in A position. So now B is empty now. Now B is equal to we are storing the data of A means A A data is already stored in C position now. So we are the C of data is stored into A position. So we can write system dot out print ln to print the values now after that. So can I write system dot? Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, string swapping, right? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Then uh, write your program string reverse. Okay. String program. Yeah, ma'am. Now I'm writing a program to string reverse, ma'am. Here I take this class and main method. Then now I am writing string. Yeah, here I use a string buffer method yeah, to, to print the data into reverse. Okay. Yeah, it is an easy way. And now we are using system dot out dot print ln. Now we are using system dot out dot print ln to print the data into reverse in a console. Yeah, now it will print like a bus. Okay. It will print like this one. Okay. Can you have a seat, please? Yeah, thank you.
Okay, Muhammad. They're like, how much Sunny do you have expected? Um, as a fresher, I'm not expecting salary. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I want to grow my skills and I want to, like, uh, Okay, Mohammad, your interview is completed. My will contact you soon. Okay, thank you.